Hello, good morning YouTube, I'm Ursa Ryan, good to see everybody again, this is the first time I filmed in like two weeks, I was away on holiday, I got engaged, way. that's quite exciting isn't it? Um, apart from that, we are sort of jumping back into Prison Architect and I've kind of got a few different streams running along at the same time, I've got the Prison Architect, I've got Battle of the Wesnoff, that's really good fun, I really enjoy that game. Um, I'm still waiting for people to get sort of together, so that we can do Undertale, we can do Civ, that sort of thing, um, so we might as well just sort of keep on jumping through this for now. Um, I think last episode we were going to finish up the chapel, weren't we? We were going to finish up the library. Hopefully the morgue won't be needed too much, but we'll see. And after that we're going to see if we can finish this MaxSec infrastructure implementation, which I think involves building some CCTV, which hopefully won't be so tricky. So hang on, let's just speed up to normal time. After that we were going to look at extending the prison, and then we're going to have to put a little bit of thought into that, because the more you, you extend prison, obviously the more prisoners you have, and the more that your infrastructure needs to adapt, I guess, to be able to cope with the additional demand. For instance, we're going to need a second yard, a uh, second canteen, I think little things like that, definitely. Um, and showers, for instance, we'll need more shower blocks. In fact, actually, these, these prisoners, do they, they don't even have showers, do they? That's really bad. That's really, really bad. I just noticed that they didn't actually have showers. Do they have to go through here to, to go to the shower? Oh, that's a good point, isn't it? Well, we'll have to think about implementing showers into this block here as well. Um, actually, one thing I was thinking of doing was to have... Oh, hello. Mouse has gone crazy. Uh, is to have separate showers in every single one of the cells instead of having a big communal shower. Uh, that might work quite well. I'm not sure, but we'll sort of... We'll, we'll see to that as, as we get to it. Oh, my God. Stop finding narcotics. What are you doing? Drugs. Solitary. Six hours. Oh, go away. Stop it. Oh, that's just like... They're nightmares, aren't they? They're just... Ah, oh, these prisoners. They really, really do annoy you. So, chapel. What do we need for chapel? Minimum size, six by six. Ah, uh, I remember the problem we had with this. Hang on, let's uh let's just extend it quickly. There you go, that's plenty big now. Uh altar, pews, and prayer mat. Alright, we can do that. Uh we'll go for an altar. We'll have the altar here. Does it have a does it have a right way? Maybe it does. It's difficult to say, isn't it? I mean, I think I think that's going to be the right way, is it? Oh, God, I'll probably have it the wrong way around, knowing me. I don't think it... Does it actually have a right way? No, I think it, it doesn't, does it? Right, we'll stick it there for now. Uh, we'll go for some pews. We'll have a sort of uh, a churchy bit here, like so. And then we'll get some prayer mats in on the right, I think. Just to really let people do all of their religious -y things that they need to do. Fantastic. That is going to be great. Um, do, do we need a school desk in here? An office desk? It recommends these two things as, as like things that would normally be seen in a chapel. I'm not so sure about that. I don't know if that's needed. So we'll leave that alone for now. Uh, library. Here we go. What do we need in the library? Library shelf and sorting desk. Oh god, we're going to need a big sorting desk, aren't we? I imagine all of the books are going to get delivered into the library. Here we go. We'll pop that there. And we'll have some library shelf. Oh my god, look at these things. Oh, these are incredible. They're massive. Uh, put some there. Uh, can we turn it round? Can we turn it round? I'll, I'll put another one here. It's all about trying to not make any areas that prisoners can sort of hide in the, you know, the corners of the library and get up to no good. That's going to be the tricky thing, but I think, I mean, my, my design in, in this library is just terrible, isn't it? I mean, that's awful, but never mind, never mind, we'll, we'll sort of forgive ourselves for now. That's the library, that's the chapel, fantastic. Do the prisoners have time to use these things? Yes, they have three time, they do have lots of free time. Look at all that free time. Oh, God, that's ample free time, if you ask me, but um, never mind, four hours a day to, to pray and, and library it up. I think that's plenty. So, the reform through education initiative is sort of happening in the background and I'm hoping, if we look at some of the reports uh, on the programs, you can see there are people sort of taking the course. That's good. That means that hopefully we'll, we'll start to get a few people through. We've got to get 10 prisoners to pass the foundation course. Once the foundation course has been started, we can start the where's the general education but people have got to pass the foundation before they can take that so that's fine um it's gonna have to be reformed through an education initiative isn't it 
Uh, that no, that's not the one. Max Sec Infrastructure Implementation. Now we do have a spare office in here. So build a CCTV monitor. I have a feeling there is a room that we're not using yet, and I have a feeling security room. Here we go. Minimum size four by four. We actually look. This is perfect. We've got a four by four. There we go. That's a security room. So we can have an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet. Office desk, chair, and filing cabinet. Let's stick those in quickly. Um, like, oh, can I get these the right way around? Yep, like that. Office desk, chair. Where's the chair gone? Anyone see the chair? Shout at me. I will find it. There we go. There's the chair. And the filing cabinet as before. But, 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 CCTV. Now that's a big thing, isn't it? Where is the CCTV? CCTV? CCTV, here we go. Locked. You require surveillance. Okay. Surveillance, here we go. Let's research that. Anything else? Land expansion? That could be quite good. Um, loads of noises are being made here. Do you hear those? It's sort of almost like, ooh, ooh, sort of noises. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, we'll get a land expansion. That's quite fun. Remote access. Unlocks high-tech equipment for remote control and automation of doors. Doors can be opened remotely using a door control system. Operated by a guard or a door timer at specific times of day. That's really cool. Um, definitely with that. Legal. Unlocks the lawyer who can be hired from a staff to a bar. Unlocks a number of research options to give you greater control over your prison. Perfect. Well, let's do, let's do legal at the same time. That's, uh, that's plenty. I think we should, be, we should be happy with all those. We might need a few more offices uh, once that we've got all of these things. But for now, for now, that's all right. Uh, okay, now we've got some electricity problems in here, unfortunately. What's going on with you? <coughs> oh yeah, here we go. Right, we just don't have any cable. Whoops. There you go. Let's put those in. Those should be hooked up fairly quickly. We actually have to keep an eye on our electricity grid. The thing I've noticed is the more, like, you see, like, workshops and things, they've actually, they're stretching our power station pretty much to the limit. This is crazy. So we've got to be really careful here. If, if this goes above the limit of things that it can power. The whole prison will shut down. Um, the important thing is as well, if we add another uh, power station in, we have to actually make a second grid. We can't add it onto the original grid. It just doesn't work like that. So that's going to be really tricky. Do we have any people in the workshop? Qualified prisoners? No. Ah, that's why I remember. In order to make some license plates, we have to get people in the workshop safety introduction. Zero interested. Fair enough, that would be why. That would be why. There we go. Well, maybe people will become interested in that eventually. You only need one person in there, right? To be making a bunch of bunch of license plates, I think? Maybe? Oh, I don't know. Who knows? Um, why is there not a guard in the classroom? This is my question. There should be one. Oh, he's, he's nowhere near. He's, he's coming. He's coming very slowly. Wow, he's a bit slow. You know what? We should probably get a few more guards soon. Um, but I think that's that's sort of rolling out, isn't it? We've got three separate things, and, and we can't really progress with them anymore at the moment. So what we should do, I think, is just extend the capacity of our jail. I think that's going to be the best thing to do. Now, this makes a sort of logical place to have an extended war, a sort of cell block here, I think. If we put some, like, another two lines there, I think that's going to work well for us. Um, and if we sort of plan it out, just so that we've got enough space to do this, you can see it'll sort of come along here and then we'll have like this, do you see? So the cells will sort of come along all the way to here, like that, and then they'll sort of be based onto the same corridor as the one we're using at the moment. I think that's going to be the best thing to do, I think, maybe? Yeah, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten extra cells. I think, actually, that's really good. I like to do things in multiples of ten. It makes me... Oh, it's it just... It's just... It makes me very happy. Um, so the, the, the sort of corridor will sort of continue to be extended down here. I think that's not a, not a bad move if we just keep extending that there. But what we're going to do is we're going to have another block of cells coming in here. Do you see? So we'll have the sort of the doors coming in like that. There we go. Yeah. So we should go from prisoner capacity 50 to prisoner capacity 70. I reckon, I reckon with the infrastructure that we've got, we can handle that many prisoners. 
but I'm sure we'll find out relatively quickly if that's not the case. We can actually fit, thinking about it, we can fit another bunch of cells in here. Do you see, if I go like this, one, two, three, so we'd have to have a pretty cramped corridor in here. Yeah, really cramped, look at that. But actually, I think that could be worth it. If we, if we stick them in there, that would be nice. So we'll just do this, like that. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Now that's capacity for 80 new cells. So we should just get the foundations to be laid first of all. We'll just quickly pop some foundations there. And if you remember, we found out last time that if you do it like this, it doesn't take down the internal walls that you, you know, we've, we've had that before. If you, if you build the foundations from the wall onwards, it actually destroys this wall to make up for it. And then your prisoners run away and it's all a bit, it's all a bit of an embarrassing mess. But, um, for now, I think that's not so bad. We'll wait until they've done that. Um, we're actually going to have another large jail door here. We're going to pop that there, and we're actually going to uh, control left click to make that the priority. I want that door in, and I want to be able to open that door, because once that's the case, the workers will be able to sort of come in and out of the prison fairly easily. Oh, they're just... Oh, yeah, there's storage, outside storage, wasn't there? Yeah, that's actually quite handy. I think the other thing I should probably do is have a concrete path around the outside of the jail. Um, at that point, once we've got a concrete path, we can think about, um, you know, speeding up the workers' ability to move around the jail. Because at the moment, they're, they're treading through this horrible, like, disgusting wet mud and dirt and, you know, navigating through the trees. And it's quite difficult when you're, when you're holding all these boxes. So I think um, for now, for now, that's fine. Uh, normal door locked open. We'll keep that one open for now. Again, just like this one just while they're sort of building everything out a bit. Uh, and this yard, I don't know whether the yard needs to be a bit bigger, to be honest. Um, we've got an armed guard in here, sort of keeping everything relatively safe. We should probably make the yard a bit bigger. You know what, actually, I am going to put some showers in the yard as well. I think this is a fantastic idea. You know, I was just talking about the fact that these guys don't have any showers. If we put some showers in the yard, they can, they can sort of be making do. Actually, that's not a bad idea. We go one, two, three, four, five six seven like that and then we'll put some drains in as well just underneath the showers hopefully that will be fine do we have any water we don't oh we do have a water supply uh hang on let's just quickly extend that across there and then we'll get these smaller pipes in there fantastic and we'll hook that all up i mean our workers have a lot to do right now a, a, a huge amount to do but we should be all right there we go that is that's perfect that is the foundations built already god these guys are quick aren't they super quick um utilities we're going to get electrical cable and we are going to stretch a new line but 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 but, but we, we should be we, yeah we should have a second main squid we don't want to overextend on that one so in order to do that we need a second power room where we're going to have the power room, we'll have it in the administration section here. And remember, it needs to be a 5x5 five five, uh, building to be a power room. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So we'll have the walls there, like so. There we go, perfect. Right, and we'll have the building, the foundations, we'll pop those in there. We'll quickly get the door in as well, because having a door is quite handy. Uh, if you stick the door in, then it sort of helps the room be built really quickly. This is what I found. This is just a little trick. Always prioritise the door first. They stick that in, and then every, all the foundations happen a lot quicker. Um, so the utilities, what we're going to do is we're going to stick another power station in. 5,000, oof! That is, that is expensive, but you know what? It's worth it. It's very much worth it. And then we'll put some capacitors in. Three, four, five, six. We'll put half the capacitors in for now. My God, we are spending a lot of money here. We need some of these, some of these grants to come through. Otherwise, we're going to be running out of money quickly. Um, oh, hello. What's happening? Oh, drugs. Oh, stop it. What are you doing? Terrible. At least we've got solitary running now. That's that's the important thing. And that is quite handy. You know what? Having more regular doors and staff doors instead of jail doors is actually really handy, I've noticed, because it actually means my workers can can jump about quite nicely. It, it's really... It is really good. Um, I've had it before where you sort of build a jail and you only have jail doors that only the guards can open, sort of 
around the jail and what it does is it means the workers just can't get about it's they're really the poor things they just sort of run around and uh, they can't get anywhere they need to um i think everyone is everyone doing yeah everyone's eating quite nice this is good so far so good uh our metal detectors seem to be picking up the majority of things oh you got anything on you waymark what do you mean waymark no nothing on you so yeah definitely you've only got two months more to serve to serve do you know what there's no point i would i would stay stay clean don't don't be stealing forks when you're only two months away from uh from being released do you know what i mean that would be just that would just be terrible ah here we go right do you see the second power grid it has this sort of ori yellowy hue as opposed to a green one it means it's a separate a separate um uh what do you call it a separate grid in fact what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to dismantle these utilities um, there we go and that'll sort of separate this cable off and then what I can do is I can then extend this line separately to that oh hello what's happening here did you just attack the guard he did he tried to attack a guard with a stab vest oh no attack staff my god Pennington 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 I am watching you you are Ugh. That is not cool. That is not cool at all. Um, quickly, utilities. As I say, we're sort of extending this uh, cable through here. And this will create a second separate system. And we'll pull this one into here. Um, like so. Perfect. And there we go. We will have this cell block powered by an entirely separate mains grid to the others. It will be fantastic. I think. I think anyway. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, we need to add a few more jail cells in here. Actually, oh, hang on. Let's have the CCTV cameras. Have these been unlocked just yet? Can we do those yet? Objects? Yes, we can. Here we go. Right, security. So, CCTV monitor. Oh, wow, that. That's a big old thing. Okay, we're going to have to extend the security room. Fair enough. I, I suspected this might happen. So, where are we going to put this? If we just make the... The security room just a bit bigger generally. Well, actually, this is the edge of the, this is the edge of the hospital, isn't it? We can't we can't go too much further this way, unfortunately. Um, hmm, what to do? What to do? Actually, yeah, I've got an idea. If we extend it to there, you see, so if I build the foundations there, and I get the wall, and I demolish these walls there. And what I can do is I can move the filing cabinet. If I dismantle the filing cabinet, we do that. Yeah. Cool. And I put that one in there. Good. Um, and then the security. Where's security? Here it is. I'm just going to extend you just so you're a little bit bigger. And that means I now have room, hopefully, to pop this here. There we go. I mean, I, I, still a bit of space on the back, but never mind. So we've got a CCTV monitor. That's good. Um, we just need some CCTV cameras now, don't we? Put cameras throughout my prison. Where do we need CCTV cameras? I think we'll have them in the rooms that we don't necessarily want to watch. You know, the low-risk rooms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one in the chapel. We'll stick two in the chapel there. I don't know if having one or two is a, is a good thing. The classrooms are going to have a lot of people in at once, so I'll keep those like that. And the library as well has got stuff, but the morgue... We'll stick them in the morgue. You know, people aren't going to steal the, uh, the dead bodies, hopefully. We'll stick them in the power room. In fact, actually, we'll stick them in all of the power rooms. This isn't a bad idea. It allows us visibility um, in rooms that we wouldn't normally have it, which is quite cool. Um... Where can't we see as well? Showers? Oh, we should put them in the showers, definitely. There we go. It's a bit creepy, I know, but never mind. Um, and then we'll have them, should we have them in the corridors as well? I think actually that's probably not a bad idea. Stick them here. Ah, here we go. So if I stick one there, stick one there, and then I can have one in the little guard space in there just to keep an eye on things perfect i think you know what i don't know how many you need oh I've, I've put enough down now to to warrant the grunt that's good that is really good now this means essentially what i can do 
is I can inactive build more CCTV monitors. Oh, it's because the monitor isn't turned on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's turn you on quickly. You need a direct signal. Like that. Good. Okay, what I can do is I can now implement CCTV cameras as I, as I need um, to take over from the rooms that I don't particularly want guards hanging around. Like, I don't want to have a guard in the, in the you know, the, the chapel in the morgue all the time. These are sort of a bit, they're not priorities for me. I'd rather stick them around the canteen, around the jail and, you know, things like that. For me, that's more important. Um, prison manufacturing, have we got anyone doing this yet? No, no we don't. To do, store log in workshop saw. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is all being put through. Oh, this is awesome. I'm actually... Forestry... We, 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 we're planting new trees, are we? Oh, that's really cute. And then I think we're planting them to chop them down. I don't know how the forestry works. I'm looking forward to seeing this sort of in full swing, actually. Oh, my God. People are just finding things everywhere. We've got to do a shakedown. It's, it's, it's contraband everywhere. Narcotics and luxuries. Where are narcotics coming from? Where can they get the narcotics from? From, uh, from the, the infirmary. And we have a guard in the infirmary. No, we don't. I should probably stick a guard in the infirmary just to stop, stop people from stealing things, all the drugs. They, you know, they, they're getting beaten up and then stealing everything afterwards. That's not so cool. Not so cool at all. Inactive. Build more CCTV monitors. Hang on. Is this working on any of them? At the moment, none of the CCTV cameras are working at all. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? Um, why would that be? Inactive build more monitors. Huh. And maybe I just need to have more to make them work. Shall I put a second one in and see what happens? Let's do it. Why not? Um, CCTV monitor. It's only a thousand, you know. I mean, could be worse. Could be far worse. We'll stick one in there. Build a second one. And we'll see if it springs on. Let's see if it actually makes a difference or not. Um, you know, I was saying earlier, I think I'm going to make this wing of my jail maximum security. I think actually that would be good. We can, we can have some deliberately maximum security prisoners in. Once we've built these jail cells, I'll specify this as minute medium and this as medium as well. And we'll have this as a, as a um, maximum security wing. Uh, and then we can actually specifically order in some new maximum security prisoners. I think that would be good. Um, why do we always seem to have one down? Have you noticed that? It's all a bit, it's all a bit odd, isn't it? You know what? Tell you what. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to have only maximum security prisoners to come in. That'll give us a little bit more—a thousand dollars, a thousand big ones. That'll be perfect. Um, right there we go. Okay, just need to power this quickly. I don't understand why this isn't working. Come on. Come on, hop to it. Come on, workers. You gonna... There we go, here's the one with the cable. In he comes. Da, 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 da. No, you're not gonna put the other one in? <laughs> the other one has to do the separate thing. Okay, fair enough. Right. Required guard to monitor it. Okay, we've got monitoring guards now. But they're not... It's still not turned on. Still not turned on. Maybe, you know what, maybe I should, dig, if I get rid of some, if I'll we'll dismantle the second camera in every room. So we'll dismantle that, just in case. The shower, I feel we do need to, because there's like a corner in there. But let's just dismantle you. Dismantle you. We'll have a few spare ones, that's fine. And then we'll dismantle the corridor ones, just for now as well. And this one, because this one, there's actually a guard in there. And we'll see how many you need. Maybe if it's just one CCTV camera per monitor, that would be really inefficient. I don't know if I'd like that. We might have an issue with that if that's the case. Um, hopefully, though, with these being taken out. Okay, taken out. Yep, you've gone as well. Come on, this must be getting close to being able to work. Surely. No? No, I'm going to have to look this up. I'm going to have to actually have a little nosy and see what it would require. Oh, hang on. We are we are out of guards. Hang on. We've got plenty of income at the moment. I'm going to pop a few more guards in the, in the jail. They're all busy doing all kinds of things. Resting and an orc. That sort of thing there. 
Um, fair enough. Right, well, thank you very much. Um, I will leave it there. I'm going to go have a little Google and I'm going to see if I can figure out how to make the CCTV cameras work because they're clearly not working as I intend them to at the moment. Um, I have a feeling it's just more of a ratio of monitors to cameras as needed, but until then, what I might do is I might clear this out and make this into a, a lawyer's office and then make a bigger, um, you know, police security room where they actually have more police with more CCTV cameras uh, a little bit later. I think I might do that uh, with a bit bigger room. And so the next episode, we'll do that. We'll, we'll finish off the CCTV properly and we'll get these jail cells rolling um, and we'll divide the jail into a maximum and medium security wings. But I mean, look at it. I think we're doing all right. We are really filling out. We're going to have to think about buying more land. I mean, it's only 20,000. 20, I mean, you can get a fair decent chunk of land for that. We might have to, have, you know, really start to think about expanding. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!